Melbourne, Australia, March 15, Dane Beams of the Lions poses during the AFL Captain's Day at Etihad Stadium on March 15, 2018 in Melbourne, Australia. Photo by Adam Trafford, AFL Media, Getty Images, Brisbane Lions CEO Greg Swan has denied that ex-skipper Dane Beams would be interested in a return to Victoria. Reports surfaced earlier this week that suggested Beams might be keen on a move back to Victoria at some stage, given that is where his wife is from. But Swan was quick to shut those rumors down. We were surprised, I rang his manager just to check and he was as surprised as we were and he was actually quite angry about it so we're confident it's got no substance to it. Swan told Send Breakfast. I think Fagan has spoken to Beams Thursday's training day so they'll have a chat, but we're happy that it isn't true. See also, Premiership Tigers future at Punt Road up in the Air Beam stood down as the Lions captain last week to deal with the passing of his father, and Swan said the club would be supporting their star midfielder through this tough time. Dane's the eldest brother and he sort of took that on and looked after his father for the last stages of his life so that was pretty traumatic, he said. We went to the funeral and he was okay for a while, then I think a couple of weeks later it all hit him and as he talked about, he used to go to the footy with his dad and it all sort of weighed on him. See also, every AFL coach's all-time winning record, I think it was bugging him that he was running out and tossing the coin, but he wasn't really being captain and so that's one of the reasons he stood aside. I don't think it's any coincidence his last two games have been his best two. Swan also revealed that if Beams did wish to retain the captaincy, it'd be his for the taking. If Beams wants to come back and do it, then he's the captain, but if not then we go on as we are with Zorko, Swan said. The 28-year-old is averaging 26.4 disposals, 4.3 clearances, 3.8 tackles per game this season for the Lions.